All right, students, this video is going to go over section 2.3 for math 2. Um, this is where we'll be squaring a binomial. So we've already multiplied binomials using FOIL. This is essentially just a shortcut, and it can be kind of a confusing shortcut. So if you look at the car concept here, uh, it has a plus b and has a minus b. So there's no numbers here except for the exponent, and then they give you this. Okay. So the idea is that if you see something squared, a plus b squared, or x plus y, or 2 plus x, or whatever it is, you can follow this pattern. Okay. I want to emphasize here that FOIL will always work, of course. Uh, this is just supposed to be a bit of a shortcut. So we'll try a couple examples out. And just a reminder, there's also examples at the tutorial buttons here in the online book. So you can click those as well. What I'll do is let's get some scratch paper and let's try and figure this out where they got it from. So again, this is kind of confusing to see with just A's and B's. So we'll run through it with the numbers. Let's say X plus 5, for example. So instead of A and B, we have X and 5. What I'm going to do is follow this pattern, but instead of A's and B's, I'm going to put parentheses. And I recommend doing that anytime you're filling in values from a formula. So instead of a and b, I have x and 5. So we're going to put x and 5. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, that would be x also. x, x, 5, and 5. So a, so a and the a, and b and b. So instead of b's, we have the 5's. Instead of a's, we have the x's. Okay. I already messed it up a little bit. I'll show you again. This is supposed to be a shortcut, but there's other ways to go about this x squared is just x squared 2 times x times 5 well we can rearrange this and go 2 times 5 is 10 and then the x that's totally allowed and then 5 squared would be 25 so there's your answer and that's it that's how this rule works now the main thing is there's no shortcut to this to say x squared and 5 squared. That doesn't work. This right here is the only shortcut we have. The long cut here is that we'll have to write x plus 5, x plus 5, and use FOIL. Okay. So it's the same problem. I'm just going to show you through FOIL. So first you get x squared. Outside you get 5x. Inside, you get 5x. Last, you get 5 times 5, which is 25. And you can combine terms here. The 5x and the 5x gives you 10x. And if you look at the answer here, that's exactly the same. So one time we did it with a rule. Up here, we follow the rule. And here we did FOIL. Both of them will get you the same answer. Which one's more work? Uh, that's really up to you. The more homework you do, if you see these patterns a lot, it does help to recognize. More likely though, it's going to be, you're going to be able to recognize if you can recognize this and know that you can go backwards to get back to that once we learn factoring in a later section. All right, let's go through one last example and I'll flip over the page. Okay, so let's do one last one. Again, with the squared here, you can't just say three squared and four squared. You have to either FOIL or follow the rule. The other thing is the only difference between the rules is when you have a subtraction here, you end up with a subtraction there. But again, if you're confused, you can always go back and do it with FOIL. Now for this one, instead of A, we have a 3x. I want to show you that that does not make too much of a difference. Okay, so instead of A and B, we have a 3x and we have a 4. So we're going to put 3x here, 3x here. And then instead of B, we had a 4. So we'll put 4 here and 4 there. Now here's where you got to be careful. This is why I put parentheses here. 
it's not just 3x squared, it's the whole 3 squared and x squared, so that's 9x squared. Alright, so again, it's not just the x squared, but the whole, the 3 squared also, that gives you 9. 2 times 3 is 6, times 4 is 24, and we're allowed to do that because multiplication, you could do 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is still going to be 24. And over here, the 16, and the 4 squared. And that's it. So if you know this rule, it sort of makes it a little bit easier. Um, if, you, if you're doing a lot of problems with this, it does help. It does make it faster. All right. Thanks for watching.